KNON 89.3 FM in Dallas and Fort Worth, the voice of the people. Business owners, tell KNON's listeners about your business. You can put your business or event on KNON. KNON currently has space available to run announcements for you. Tell KNON's listeners about your goods, services, nightclub, concert, or event. Help keep the voice of the people on the air while putting your information on the air. KNON's been named the number one radio station in Dallas by both the Dallas Observer and D Magazine. Put your business with Dallas's number one station. Call now for more information at 214-828-9500, extension 227 or extension 233. For more information, go to KNON.org and click on the Run Spots on KNON page. It's a great way for your business to support community radio while letting more people know about you. This is William, your videographer from the KNON Talk Shows. KNON and the strip on CedarSprings.com brings you Easter in the Park and show you what you missed if you weren't there. There we go. Hello, little one. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, since I'm totally unimpressed. Yeah, she is. She's ready to go find family. <laughs> okay. Have a good one. <laughs> Hello, Annie. Oh, you are a joyful one. Yes, you are. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Is, well, I, I gave you a good profile. That's the end of that. <laughs> Come on. All right. Uh, even William. It is still in the park, and people are just now arriving. We had a very stormy morning, or some to be seen. Several tornado warning or thunderstorm boxes. So, see how the day begins. What's your puppy dogs? Um, this is Bradley. Okay. He is um, one and a half years old, and this is Ginger. She's three. They're both Chihuahuas. Wow. Got yeah, one in a Superman costume, and the other one is. She's in her Easter in her Easter dress. Ah. This hasn't put on the Easter bonnet yet. She, no, she had a Wonder Woman costume, but she opted for the dress. Ah. Yeah. I, I, I pooch with a mind of its own. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sounds great. There you go. All right. Well, let's see. Get a couple good shots of what you got for sale here. And uh, you got lots of good, nice things. What's, tell me about your stuff. It looks great. Thank you. Um, we have our the Strongest Lake. And we travel around to different festivals. Um, this is our first time up here. We usually go to the like the gay pride festivals around the country. And we got invited here because we're at the pride in uh, here in Dallas last year. So, okay. Glad to be here. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. And have a good Easter and watch the parade and all that good stuff. <laughs> all right. Texas Television Station Dallas. Wow. So I know all about community. Okay. Media. Tell me about them. Tell me what uh, what, you were, what I'm looking at, what we're doing, or what you're doing, rather. Um, well, I do pet portraiture. Okay. And, uh, uh, looks like it does very. You got one on a book here, painted into a book. Yeah. Well, several exactly. of them there. Yeah. I've been doing uh, this for about three years. Uh huh. Like I said I used to be in, you know, community access television in Dallas. That's okay. Long, long time till the city took it over and killed it. But uh, so I've always been a, a visual artist as well. And uh, a few years ago, I uh, did a painting for a friend, and mm-hmm. another friend of mine saw it and wanted me to do a whole show of my work. And that's kind of how it started. Wow! And I just love uh, painting animals for uh, people. And, you know. The put pets has moved on. Yes, sir. All pets right. has moved on. And, haven't been forgotten. Okay. Here's a little uh, 
some background. Okay, that's good. There's an article in the, in the morning news uh, this year. <clears throat> and, uh, Back on to you here. Go ahead. People, I hit upon the idea of uh, uh, painting on books. That's, I mean, people seem to really like that. Uh, just, just the pun of, you know, dog's tail uh, got me thinking about, you know, that every animal has a, has a story to tell. And uh, so I got the idea of putting them on books. And, um, and people seem to really like that. And, uh, so been playing around with that idea, but I also do it on canvas and on other other materials, uh, canvas and wood, wood and just any any material. I've done it on glass, I've done it on anything people ask me to. That's wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, William. Right. Appreciate it. Tell me, what is the, what's the greatest thing you got to get doing here? Well, it's a great opportunity for Oklahoma United Methodist Church to come out today and greet our community here. We believe that everyone is a beloved child of God and that God loves all creation. So we wanted to come out this Easter morning and invite our neighbors to our Blessing of the Animals service, which will be Saturday, April 6th at 10 a.m. at the church. It's on the corner of Oaklawn and Cedar Springs Road. Excellent. Thank you. Your video will be, a, will be connected together. Okay. Tell me what's great here. What's great? What's great? Yeah, what, what we're doing here? Um, you know, you're so, it looks like selling a puppy dog. No, we uh, no. We're actually a pet sitting business. So wow. We, we do it out of our home. Uh huh. And it's kind of like a home environment, so the dogs are free to go in and out. We have dog doors, and they, we don't kennel them, so it's it's more like bringing your dog to a, another home rather than to a kennel. That's great. And we have dog treats that we're selling today, homemade dog treats. All right. Like the one that I have her in. Hi. And we have sizes, everything from extra small through large, up to about 10 to 15 pounds. Over here we have the coats and raincoats. So um, that's our product line. We have everything from Manhattan men to biker looks to just Pretty much anything you could. There you go. So, so this is what's what's say Annie? This is Annie. Wow, hello Annie. Oh, uh, hey, I got a tail wag, so I must not be too bad looking. No, not at all. Okay. Get a little picture of you. I'm not very formal. If I can get there we go. Oh, can everything. All right. Just, well, just my show. name's Mark German. I'm okay. known as America's Dog Whisperer. Okay. But I run an academy called America's Canine Academy. And what okay. we do is we travel around the country looking for people that would like to become a dog whisperer, if you would, not a dog trainer. Right. We can we can take any of these dogs that's roaming around out here if they're having issues with them and fix it right now. Wow. Dogs who pull, dogs who jump. That's what we're doing. Um, we're here to support the local community also. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, to show off our book that we've got out called There's Hope. Okay. And it teaches people what their dogs need. We're also here to promote our nonprofit organization, which is called H4, okay. Hounds Helping Heroes Heal. So you'll notice my cap, I'm a retired Navy veteran. And we're, what we're doing is taking dogs from shelters, rehabilitating them using this technique, and then we're giving them to uh, veterans coming home from the Gulf War and even Vietnam. And we're turning them into emotional support animals for these guys with post-traumatic stress disorder. That's great. And since I'm with, I was one of them, I'm giving back to my fellow veterans. Uh -huh. And if you can zoom in on that photo over there, I can do that. show them our, I can what do we that. do with the soldiers. All right, let's see where it is. All right. Oop. Yeah, I got a nice shot of it for okay. you. So we're... We're about that and raising funds for that and helping as many veterans as we can in the local area. Okay, thank you very much. Well, thanks for having me on your show. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Hi, my name is Emily Kojel and I'm a board member for Legacy Counseling Center. And we are the largest provider of HIV and AIDS counseling services in North Texas. Um, our facility is located on Elizabeth over in uh, near the Bikini area in Dallas. And we've got our biggest fundraising event called Be an Angel coming up this summer. 
you can go to our website and buy tickets for that. And we also have a women's conference coming up in May. Um, it's the largest women's conference for HIV positive women in the nation. And our website is www.legacycounseling.org. Fantastic. Do they do cheese? Cheese? You know, uh, smile? Oh, <laughs> oh hello. Let me get a nice little tight shot there. Oh, well. <laughs> Showing favorites, I can tell. Showing favorites. All right, thank you. We are here promoting Razzle Dazzle Dallas, which this year will be held in Main Street Gardens in downtown Dallas. Uh, last year, we had the event on Cedar Springs. It was a well-attended event. And of course, it's Dallas's June Pride celebration. Uh, this year, we are moving it to downtown Dallas. We're very excited about the new venue. Uh, the city has partnered with us, and so we're very excited to move it to uh, downtown Dallas. It's on Saturday, June the 8th from 7 p.m. to midnight. Friday night is our AIDS fundraiser Metro Ball, which will be held at S4 on Cedar Springs, and it will feature Thelma Houston. So that's a great, great event. Uh, the weekend is Friday night Metro Ball, Saturday night uh, Razzle Dazzle Dallas and downtown Dallas Razzle Dazzle Festival weekend. Uh, all the information can be found online at razzledazzledallas.org. Okay. All right. Thank you. Tell me, what you, tell me what we're trying to do here. Okay, um, today um, at Easter in the Park, the Human Rights Campaign is here. Um, we are the largest organization in the United States that supports the LGBTQT community, and that is lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Um, we support marriage equality. We help with anti-bullying in schools, domestic abuse, um, anything that falls under the human rights um, umbrella, essentially. Um, and we have been um, in Washington supporting marriage equality, um, Proposition 8, anything that's going on right now, we're very much a part of. Um, so yeah, and we're out here today just supporting marriage equality like we you'd normally do and uh, getting to meet people and talk with them and sell memberships. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. Out here? Okay, great. Well, we're Green Mountain Energy. We're one of the power companies, and our claim to fame is we use 100% wind energy instead of coal and gas. And we're here signing up people to uh, have a, people to have pollution-free electricity for their homes. And uh, thanks very much. <laughs> and um, it's a beautiful day to be out here, and we're thrilled to be out here and to give people a chance to make a difference. Oh, 
Oh, just one of our entries? <laughs> it does. Hello, puppy. Give me my profile, okay? <laughs> Says I like my profile better. <laughs> and I'm the Public Relations Director for Recycle Pomeranians Rescue. We are a 501c3 rescue based here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and we primarily rescue Pomeranians and Skipper Keys, but we do take in other small breed dogs as the need arises. In 2013, we were able to adopt out 400 palms, so we're growing by leaps and bounds. And on one hand, that's a good thing because we're able to adopt out that many dogs. But on the other hand, it's a bad thing because there's that many dogs to rescue. But we are working hard every single weekend to get these little fluffy cuties a good home. Hi, my name is Lonnie Crawford, and I'm a volunteer with Society for Rescue Animals. And what we do is we go to the Dallas Pound, and we take dogs from the Dallas Pound, and we ship them to other SP other animal rescue groups up in the northeast primarily because they don't have the deficit they have a dog deficit whereas we have a dog overage here and so we have saved so many dogs and if the camera could maybe pan those were some of the dogs we saved just last year just adorable precious animals and they're all getting a second chance at life with loving homes up in the northeast it's just a question of um, our our funding, of course, is all volunteer funding, and it costs us a little bit more than $100. We ship our dogs on American Airlines, and uh, we get, we, we've all volunteered and bought the crates. The crates come back from the shelters, and we just pack them again with our animals. There are beautiful dogs from the Dallas Pound. And sometimes we also do, in the summertime, you cannot ship animals on an aircraft. So we, that's when we rescue dogs on the Dallas streets, and then we foster them and find them homes. Uh, the phone number. Uh, I'm not the main spokesperson. I'm just a volunteer. But it's Dallas uh, Society for Companion Animals. And, oh, here. Here's a good number. It's the phone number. is 214-941. 1014. That's Society for Companion Animals dot org two one four nine four one one oh one four. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We um okay, so my name is Alana and I work for City Vet and we have four different locations. Um all four have a veterinary center inside. Um the only one of our locations doesn't offer our daycare and our boarding. So we offer daycare, which you drop your baby off for the day. They hang out in a room full of others. Um, we do grooming and bathing. Most of our four locations have two groomers on staff. Um, and we'll do grooming Monday through Saturdays. Um, and then, of course, we always offer the veterinary care as well. So depending on which location you go to, um, the vet, vets are going to fluctuate. Oak Lawn location actually has the most vets. Um, we offer everything from simple shots to uh, awareness with diseases um, to senior care, blood work. Um, we're actually even getting into stuff like acupuncture um, and stuff like that. So it's actually constantly changing. Um, we just opened up our new location, which is at Preston and Royal. Um, we also have our pet supply stores as well. So um, we have, depending on which location, is going to depend on the store name. Um, so we're just here today, kind of getting new clients in the area, uh, promoting our services, giving away lots of free stuff, which is always great.
Um, we got plenty of coupons um, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, we're just kind of enjoying the day and trying to get to know the new people in the area. Are we ready? Okay, my name is Sue and I'm here with Tyra and Shrek. And we are dressed to the canines and we make fashion neckwear for dogs. So we have stuff that fits all size dogs. It's something that dogs are comfortable wearing. It's just like wearing a collar, but it just gives them a little sense of fashion. And we are having a great time today. The weather turned out great. We would love you to come by and visit us sometime and try some stuff on. We are, you can hone in on our sign perhaps, but uh, dressedtothecanines.net is the website. So you can go up there and get information on the product and future locations where we will be at. But we would love to see you again in the future. We are having a great day today. Um, I'm with PAL, Protective Animal League, and we've been around for a very long time with low-cost spay and neuter and we're kind of starting to get back to our roots now doing less rescue and fostering and more uh, promoting low-cost spay and neuter. We do still have some dogs and cats up for adoption and we just foster in our homes. We don't have a shelter or anything. Uh, we're based out of Richardson, Dallas, Garland, um, just a loose group of volunteers and it's just all about the animals for us. Okay, let me get a good shot of your uh, banner there so people can find the phone number or address. Okay, that's our website, okay. one pet at a time. That's our motto, altering the world one pet at a time. Excellent, thank you. Thanks. Um, well, we pull with dogs from Dallas Animal Service that are at, services that are at risk for euthanasia. So we uh, try to save as many dogs as we can and give them a new chance at a good life. Um, we're at DallasPetsAlive.org, or you can search for us on Facebook. Um, just search for Dallas Pets Alive, and you can find all of our dogs and contact information and everything that you would need to adopt one of our dogs. Okay, well, let me get a shot of your uh, little puppy dog. Here. This is Diesel. Hello. Give me, give me a profile. <laughs> there you go. I got. Oh, there's the good profile. I got the red down here. Okay, that was great. Thank you. Thanks. What's great about this uh, Stray Dogs a no-kill shelter sanctuary. We've been around about 20 years. My sister-in-law, Pat Arnold, started the organization. And uh, we have about 135 rescues that we're committed to. Yeah. 903-479-3497. Or you can go to our website at www.straydog.org and look up any of our babies. Thank you. Hi, I'm Wendy with League of Animal Protectors. We are here today um, to enjoy the Easter Parade. We're, um, uh, we have several dogs and we rescue, rehome, and rehabilitate, or reha rehab and rehome uh, re dogs in the Dallas, North Texas, Dallas area. Um, uh, we do home visits and vet visits, and then we make sure our animals get into um, uh, adoptive homes. Um, uh, we're, we're available to reach at www.laprescue.org. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, this is Arlo. He was in the Irving shelter about to be euthanized when we saved him. They thought he'd been hit by a car. We caught him the day before they were going to put him down. Got him a wheelchair, and the first night we had him in the wheelchair, we couldn't catch him. He was running under chairs, under tables. Uh, and now he is a certified therapy dog at Baylor Hospital. He goes and visits patients that are in rehabilitation. How old is he? Uh, he's about seven years old right now. Well, he could last about five years. Right? Well, absolutely. Yeah. And today's the first day he's pulled a chariot. And he seemed to like it pretty well. <laughs> we don't know. He was in the Irving shelter about to be euthanized when we caught him. <laughs> Thank you. His name is back with a whip. I thought, ah, he's Dallas Companion Project. Are you ready?
Companion Animal Project. We're a 501c3 organization that works to help support all of the animals in Dallas, including the Dallas Animal Shelter, and we help support people uh, with I, things that they need to be able to keep their animals in their home. We provide free spay-neuter for low-income families who need assistance, as well as some medical and food and uh, items in order to keep the animals in their home. We're working toward no-kill for the city of Dallas. We were at one time appointed by the city of Dallas the official no-kill task force for the city, and we're thrilled to be here at Easter in the Park today. in the park is a wonderful opportunity to bring less homeless pets to the public and have a great day out with the fun with your family both two-legged and four-legged please join us each year and think about adopting a shelter pet please go to dallasanimalservices.org to see many of our wonderful adoptable pets or call the shelter Alan. And what number should our folks call if they want to adopt one of our wonderful pets? It'll be 214-670-8246. Thanks, everybody. Come see our animals at Dallas Animal Services. Let's get, let's get this one here. I'm sorry. You got it. Hey guys, it's a great day out here at Petite Pooch. We are in Addison. Uh, we came out today for the Pooch Parade at Lee Park. This is our second year. It's a great event. We love being here. Petite Pooch has two locations. We have one in Addison, one in Farmer's Branch. We do dog grooming, play care, and we also do boarding. So come on out and check us out. We're a great facility. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Yeah, we're Majestic Barkery and we make all natural treats. Um, our phone number is 817. Where's the bag so I can find? <laughs> I don't know our phone number. Our website is majesticbarkery.com and it's 817-803-2851. And we make all natural, healthy dog treats. Great. Well, we had over 50 entries this year. Uh, that's about the same as last year. We had uh, about 25 rescues in our rescue parade. Uh, one of our winners, who was Avatar last year uh, with her Chinese Crescent Hairless, this year she was best overall winner as uh, her and her friends as the Walking Dead, the cast from The Walking Dead. And it was awesome. Yes. <laughs> but we had tons of great costumes, lots of kids, lots of dogs. It was a great event, and hopefully a lot of these rescues that are out here will be adopted today. That's our big goal. That's great. Thank yeah. you very much. Sure. All right. Thank you. Do we have a spokesperson here? No, I'm not. <laughs> the, um, the lady right here says, ask me about fostering. Awesome. How's that? I was getting ready to interview the puppy dog over there, but he was screaming, adopt me, adopt me. Yeah. All right. Get a tight focus here.
Okay. Okay. He's adop adopting, huh? Yeah, he, we are Paws in the City and we are an all rescue group. So we don't have a shelter and all of our dogs are in foster homes. And we pull, I would say 95% of our dogs from DAS since they do euthanize there. Um, and Okay, um, we have about 60 dogs on our website and probably about 60 cats as well. We do have some puppies. Uh, all of our dogs are fixed and they are all up to date with their shots and they are microchipped as well. So we take care of everything before they're adopted. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Well, we're cat matchers. We actually are a cat rescue group, but we come to dog events and we bring lots of fun items. We make uh, ID tags here. We have fun t-shirts for animals and for humans. Lots of other toys for humans and animals. And we raise money to help our cat rescue. And we also do dogs too. Uh, how about the Two, one, sorry, 972-458-7877. Yes, we have a banner. Come on down, it's a great event, and come see us if you need to adopt a cat. <laughs> photography. Um, I've been doing photography since about 1978. Um, my style is a little bit unusual because I don't take the normal stuff. Um, I do a lot of double exposures. I shoot a lot of film. Um, I like to do collages, um, combining uh, artwork with my photography. Um, my tagline is photography outside the box. So it kind of makes you think about um, different things. Um, I know the reason I take it, but a lot of people have their different interpretations of it. Um, so this is what I do. I love it. I've been doing it for a long time and hopefully do it a long, lot longer. Got a phone number I contact you by? Uh, phone number is 214-668-6557. Website really? Like Website is www.epgphotography.com. Thank you. Okay. Uh we have a lot of uh, fashion jewelry over here. We are selling everything at the factory cost at uh, wholesale price, which is about a half of uh, compared to what's sold in the shopping mall. And uh, we have a website uh, also on the Facebook. Shirley, do you remember the website? <laughs> I'm helping her. She's the one doing it. So uh, if you really like our product, come to all those fairs. We go around the fair, so our product. And uh, we are in the Dallas area. So uh, thank you very much. Okay. okay. Uh, this is the booth of Margaret Bryant Dog Photography, and I specialize in dog photography. I also photograph cats and horses as well. I capture the personality of the dog and the relationship they have with their humans. And my, my photography is emotional, whimsical, and a lot of fun. You got a phone number and a website phone number. Website is bryantdogphotography.com. Phone number is 972-418-6084. All right, let me zoom in and get a little tight shot on that uh, sign. I just saw it. I'll let it all the bad spots. <laughs> okay, because we got the music behind us. <laughs> got to use the microphone. It's cancellation. Hold it about right here. All right. Tell me everything I need to know about your pet cam. All right. This is a pet cam, and the pet cam allows you to leave your uh, pet at home and have a little peace of mind. You can check in on them at any time. It's wireless or wired, whichever way you want. You just set it up and leave. You can check on it on your iPad, your iPhone, your Galaxy, anywhere that you can see the Internet, you can see your pet. You can check in and move it up, down, left, and right. 
It's got two-way audio, so you can hear as well as talk back to them. So if you want to yell to get off the couch, you can yell to get off the couch. Uh, there's absolutely no contract, no monthly, no nothing. I guarantee it for a year. You can break it, smash it, bring it back in a baggie to me, and I'll replace it for you for free. I do all the setup for you as well if you don't want to do the setup. Uh, all the software is enclosed, but I will do this. The setup for you. If he, your dog chews it up, bring it in, bring it back, show me the teeth marks, and you get a new one. What's phone number? 214 403 8194 or visit us at pet peeps.com. <laughs>
Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, we're here to celebrate Easter and we're having so much fun here at, at uh, Easter in the Park. Wonderful. And what are you doing here? I see what, you have all these nice little things in the back. Yes, we're here spreading joy and happiness and, uh, and passing out uh, lube and condom packets, our bliss kits, uh, teaching people about safe sex.
Shows KNON and the strip on cedarsprings.com brings you Easter in the Park and show you what you missed if you weren't there. KNON 89.3 FM in Dallas and Fort Worth, the voice of the people. Business owners, tell KNON's listeners about your business. You can put your business or event on KNON. KNON currently has space available to run announcements for you. Tell KNON's listeners about your goods, services, nightclub, concert, or event. Help keep the voice of the people on the air while putting your information on the air. KNON's been named the number one radio station in Dallas by both the Dallas Observer and D Magazine. Put your business with Dallas's number one station. Call now for more information at 214-828-9500, extension 227, or extension 233. For more information, go to KNON.org and click on the Run Spots on KNON page. It's a great way for your business to support community radio while letting more people know about you.